Hey everyone, we're going to use double and half angle formulas to find exact values. We need to find sine of 2 theta, cosine of 2 theta, tan of 2 theta, and also sine of theta over 2, cosine of theta over 2, and tan of theta over 2. And just remember, these, these two here, all I'm going to do is take sine divided by cosine on both of these. So the first one we need is sine of 2. Oh, the first thing we need to know is what we have. So what's given is tan of theta equals negative 3 fourths. And I'm in quadrant 2. And that means... My y is positive, and my x is negative. And I know tan of theta um, is y over x. So I know my 3 is positive, and my x is going to be negative. Okay, so the negative actually goes with the 4 here. That means my sine of theta is 3 fifths. And my cosine of theta is negative 4 fifths. All right? So basically, we're going to find everything. And so we know that sine of 2 theta equals 2 sine of theta cosine of theta. So we have 2 times 3 fifths times negative 4 fifths, which equals negative 24 over 25. Cosine of 2 theta, I'm going to use cosine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta, which is negative 4 over 5 squared minus 3 fifths squared, which equals 16 over 25 minus 9 over 25, which equals 7 over 25. And tan of 2 theta, which equals um, sine of 2 theta over cosine of 2 theta, which equals negative 24 over 25, divided by 7 over 25. Now these two cancel here. So my answer is negative 24 over 25. When you do these a lot, all you're doing is you're just picking up those two. Oops, not 25. I messed up, which is negative uh, 24 over 7. All right, now let's do the half angles. I know I was in quadrant 2. When you take half of quadrant 2, you're going to be in quadrant 1. Because basically we had um, pi over 2. What you do is you just divide all this by 2. I need to know where my half angle is. So my half angle is in between um, pi over 4 and pi over 2, which is in quadrant 1. So this is in quadrant 1. Now, we're going to do our half angle for sine. So in quadrant 1, we use the positive. And it's going to be 1 minus a negative 4 fifths over 2, which equals the square root of 1. I'm going to go ahead and change the 1 to 5 fifths. So 5 fifths plus 2 negatives make a positive, which gives you square root of 9 over 10, which equals 3 over square root of 10 equals 3 square root of 10 over 10. And for the cosine, it's just going to be the opposite. So this is very similar to what we did before. It's going to be 5 over 5 minus 4 fifths over 2, which equals the square root of 1 over 10, which equals 1 over square root of 10, which equals square root of 10 over 10. Now, for tan... I'm just going to divide sine over cosine. So that means 3 
square root of 10 over 10 divided by square root of 10 over 10. And what happens is these two cancel, and our answer is 3. Basically, the these are the same, so they just cancel out. And that's all, and we're going to do um, one more. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.